probably going to have to say Strawberry Fields Forever, you know, cause that, by the Beatles, because that was the first time I'd listened to music before that, but that was the first time I ever really sort of started to take it seriously or thought there was something else in this music, rather than just a beat or, uh, <clears throat> or She Loves You or something, you know, it was kind of a bit more serious. And uh, even when I was nine years old, when I heard that, and it was kind of a bit of a calling for me, really. Well, it's, it's, it's difficult because that's where all my inspiration for guitar playing, everything and making music came from originally. So it's going to be really, really difficult. But I'm going to have to go between King and Crimson, you know, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles and The Kinks, and it's just impossible. If I said it could be like Walter by The Kinks, that would be a pretty weird choice, but sometimes that is my favourite song ever. A day in the life, staying with The Beatles theme. The 60s is Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Right? That's a better, that's a better song. That's my shit. I'm going to be ultra boring and pick Like a Rolling Stone, but I mean, aside from being a fantastic song in itself, it was a real moment of music history when two worlds kind of collided, you know, kind of when, when rock and roll and folk music smashed into each other and made something brand new. And, uh, and it's a great song to sing along to when you're pissed as well. Led Zeppelin 1. Oh, Led Zeppelin yeah. 1. Led Zeppelin 1. No singles, album. Terrapin, sometimes, super. I love that song a lot. But probably got it in the the Beach Boys. Yeah. I can say Twist and Shine. Yeah. A Beatle, you can say Twist, twist and Shine. Twist and Shine, yeah. It's not my favourite, but I'll go with it. I'd probably go for a Stones track, really, something like Mother's Little Helper. But also, there's probably lately a guy that's had a big in inspiration on me, he's a guy called Jacques Dutran, a French singer, and there's a song called The Responsible that we were listening to earlier. I think that's from 68, and just, I guess, for something new that has been inspiring me, I'll, I'll go for that, because it's sort of, the way he delivers his vocal and the sound of it is, is sort of something that's really getting me at the moment, you know?